Okay, so the race to space is very real. So we've got Virgin Galactic and Richard Branson on one hand, and on the other hand, we've got Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos. Now, Blue Origin have already scheduled a test flight for the 20th of July, and this will include Jeff Bezos, his brother, as well as a multimillionaire who paid $28 million for one ticket to space with Jeff and his brother. However, I think that Virgin Galactic and Richard Branson potentially have something up their sleeves to actually beat Blue Origin to the race to space. So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. So some of my viewers have actually been speculating recently that the next test flight for Virgin Galactic could potentially be a lot sooner than expected and even as soon as the 4th of July which is next week. And not only that, more importantly, we've also been speculating that potentially Richard Branson could be on this next test flight. Obviously he was meant to be on the third test flight, but now we're speculating that he could be on this next second test flight. So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. Originally I was quite skeptical, but now after some careful consideration, I've come up with a few points as to why potentially we may see this test flight much sooner. And we also may see Richard Branson on this test flight. So if that's something you're interested in listening to, please stay tuned. Let's jump straight into it. So the first reason why I think this test flight could happen sooner uh, with Richard Branson is the fact that we've just uh, achieved FAA approval. So the Federal Aviation Administration have finally checked off all our, uh, our tick boxes and now they've handed us a full commercial license for spacecraft. Now the reason why this is very important is because now if Richard Branson flies to space, he'll fly to space as a passenger as opposed to a crew member. Now this sounds much better when it comes to publicity. So now we've got more incentive to actually fly Richard Branson to space sooner because now he's going to be a passenger, which is basically telling the world and solidifying our uh, name Richard Branson Virgin Galactic as a space tourism company. So that's the first point, so FAA approval. Now the second point is the fact that if we get Branson to space before Jeff Bezos, that's a massive statement and a massive kick in the butt for Blue Origin. And the reason for that is because, number one, Virgin Galactic have less money than Blue Origin. Let's, be, let's face it, Jeff Bezos is very rich and he's been injecting billions of dollars into Blue Origin since its inception. Now the second point is that Virgin Galactic have also had less time to actually get to space than Blue Origin because Blue Origin was founded about four to five years prior to Virgin Galactic being founded. So if we have had less money and we've also had less time then and, and if we're despite having less money and less time we're still able to beat Blue Origin and Jeff Bezos into space then that's very embarrassing for Blue Origin. So that's another reason and another incentive as to why Richard Branson and Virgin Galactic want to go to space as soon as possible and beat Blue Origin uh, to the race. So the, the third point is the fact that we are already behind schedule. So Virgin Galactic are already behind schedule with their test flights. So if you remember, in December 2020, that was supposed to be a, when we completed our first test flight. But obviously there was a problem with the electromagnetic interference and we had to abort that mission. We delayed it to February and in February we still hadn't fixed the issues yet. So we had to delay it further to May. And finally in May we had the successful test flight. And however, this was supposed to be successful in December so that means we've already been delayed by about six months so this gives us more incentive to try and rush these next two test flights and the reason for that is because we want to get back on schedule so if you remember uh, we were aiming for uh, uh, customer test flight customer flights um, or passenger flights by early 2022 and hopefully if we can rush these next few test flights uh, get back on schedule hopefully we can uh, continue to stay on track to actually send passengers to space by early 2022. So that's the third incentive. Now the fourth incentive is, well this isn't really an incentive but basically the, like I said earlier there's been a lot of speculation about um, Richard Branson potentially going into uh, space on the second test flight which is sooner because originally it was meant to be the third test flight. Now the, the, the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about is actually Virgin Galactic's response to this speculation. Because if this was not true, if all this speculation was false, then Virgin Galactic and their CEO would actually refute this uh, all this speculation. But what's actually really interested, interesting is they haven't actually refuted 
the uh, speculation. So let's let's go into this. First of all, let's cover the speculation. So a report earlier this month by a blogger based in Mojave, California, where Virgin Galactic manufactures its vehicles, said the company is considering considering reorganizing its flight schedule to launch Branson next instead of second. So the report came shortly after Bezos announced he would fly on Blue Origin's first passenger space flight planned to launch on 20th of July, suggesting Branson may yet try to beat Bezos by personally flying to space over the July the 4th weekend. So that was basically the speculation. Now let's have a look at how the CEO Michael Colglazier responded to this speculation. So Virgin Galactic has not confirmed or denied it is considering a reorganization of its space flight schedule, which CEO Michael Colglazier emphasized in an interview with CNBC. So this is what he said. So, quote, I know there's a lot of interest and speculation out there, but we have not announced either the date nor the people that would be on those so, quote, basically what he's saying is there's been a lot of speculation that potentially Virgin Galactic could fly sooner than expected and also have Richard Branson in the flight. However, they did not refute this uh, potential speculation. And if anything, uh, this makes people a lot more excited because potentially we can see Richard Branson uh, fly sooner than expected. And so this is just very exciting. I mean, they could just be hyping people up, but um, the fact that they didn't refuse gives us some hope. And then the final thing I wanted to talk about, which was quite interesting, is the turnaround time. So basically, if you remember, about two years ago or so, um, the two flights that happened were actually 71 days apart. So we had one flight, and then 71 days later, we had the second flight. This was about two years ago. What that means is that gives us a turnaround time of about 71 days. Now, if the company two years later, so now if our turnaround time is the same as it was two years ago, then what that means is that uh, we had a test flight on May the 22nd and 71 days after that, which was the previous turnaround time, is the 1st of August. So that means potentially we could see the test flight on the 1st of August. However, two years of improving our technology, learning and iterating means that our turnaround time is very extremely likely to be much shorter than it was previously and two years ago. So what that means is uh, I think that it's unlikely that we're going to see the test flight on August 1st because we're just better at getting the uh, spacecraft ready after the first test flight. Now let's have a look at some of the dates. So Jeff Bezos uh, Blue Origin is flying on the 20th of July. Now, if we manage to fly on the same day as Jeff Bezos, then that will give us a turnaround time of about 58 days, which is very reasonable if you consider the fact that two, uh, two years ago, we managed a turnaround time of 71 days. So I can't see why we can't manage a turnaround time now of 58 days with improved technology. Now, if we want the test flight on the 4th of July, which is where all the speculation is, then that will give us a turnaround time of about 43 days. That's a lot less, but I still think that's achievable if you consider the fact that we've had two years to improve and iterate. I think that a turnaround time of 43 days is very possible. So that's quite exciting. Now, those are the few points that I wanted to address uh, just to let you know that I'm still very bullish on this company and I think that potentially actually some of what my viewers were saying and what I was quite skeptical about actually now I think that is very sensible I think that it could happen and it should happen the fact that the the test flight should be sooner and it should include Richard Branson but that being said um, anything can happen they they might just stick to the original schedule who knows uh, but things are looking good for us so on a ha on a happy note to end um, we are still winning the race we've actually managed to obtain the full FAA license uh, for commercial space flights um, so Virgin Galactic has just made history they're the first company to ever do that so very exciting I just wanted to share that um, if you enjoyed this video I'd be grateful if you could smash that like button subscribe to the channel for future updates I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video smash that like button again um, thank you so much I'll see you in the next one